guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Ashley and before we jump into all of this super satisfying cleaning motivation I did want to let y'all know that today's video is sponsored by Joshine so thank you so much Joshine for sponsoring today's video they did send me this amazing V18 cordless vacuum which not only is it a really pretty and sleek design, I love the color blue, but it is an amazing vacuum. It is a 25.2 volt, 350 watt cordless vacuum. And what is amazing about it, you can set it on auto, so it'll automatically sensor how much debris or dust is on the floor, and it will toggle between low, medium, high. That way you get the max performance out of your battery. So the battery life is 40 minutes when on low, but if you have it on auto, it'll last between 20 to 30 minutes. But if you have some serious messes and you need it on max, it'll last for a good 15 minutes. But you guys, I'm seriously impressed by this cordless vacuum. It has been working amazingly. I'm loving it. But what is really special and what I'm super excited about is Joshine is doing a gift away so if you guys want to win your own cordless vacuum you can enter into their giveaway they have going on and they were so kind enough to offer my subscribers an extra giveaway so there will be two chances to win a v18 cordless vacuum so there is going to be two winners and all you have to do to enter into this giveaway is you head on over to instagram if you guys don't have an account it's seriously so easy to sign up you just need an email address and you log in and you have yourself an instagram but head on over to joshine's official instagram which i will have listed right here and and once you are following them you want to put a post up and in your post you need to share a moment that you need a deep cleaning and use the hashtags Joshine as well as hashtag team Joshine underscore Joshine that will get you entered into their giveaway of one vacuum and just for my subscribers you guys have a special hashtag to get two entries into the giveaway and my hashtag is hashtag team fit busy b underscore joshine so be sure to make a post use those hashtags Make sure you're following Joshine and you guys could win your very own cordless vacuum. And I am absolutely loving it. The suction has been so great. I have been trying it out on carpet, like where the cat litter box is and its pickup has been amazing. So I know you guys would absolutely love this vacuum, but if you guys want to pick up your own cordless vacuum right now and you don't want to wait for the giveaway, then head down to my description. I do have a link and a special discount code that will be down there as well. So you can save some money on your own vacuum. This promo code is only good for October 8th through the 25th. So you don't want to miss out on these amazing savings and this awesome giveaway. So thank you so much Joshine for sponsoring this video, but now we're going to be getting into all of this cleaning motivation. So as you guys can see, today's video is going to be a all day whole house clean with me with a huge focus in the kids' bedrooms because as y'all know, I love doing a reset in their rooms every few weeks. I make them clean up their own messes in their room, but of course they only do so much. So I like to go in there and just refresh everything. And today was that day and I needed to go through Ethan's clothes. He is about to turn two. His birthday will just be passing when y'all see this video. He turned two October 8th. So he was growing out of all of his clothes so I needed to go through his shorts and pants and just get rid of the ones that were smaller than 2T. I had recently went to Sam's Club and got their wipes and diapers in bulk like usual. I always get them in bulk but I needed to pick them up because they had just been sitting in the room for a few days now. So I like to stash them away over here in the cubbies. I had so many that I ended up having to stack them up to the side, but I love knowing that I'm not going to be running out of any diapers or wipes anytime soon. Yeah. 
And in case you're wondering why I'm not using my brand new vacuum right now, that is because I received it the day after I recorded this portion of the video. So near the beginning, I am using my old shark vacuum, but at the end of the video, you will see me using my new cordless vacuum, which I was so excited to test out. I have been using it now for a week and I am absolutely loving it. So while I was going through all the pants and shorts, Ethan was determined to put on his own clothes. That is his new thing recently. He loves dressing himself, but he gets so frustrated. He was getting so mad he could not put his shorts on, <laughs> but that is his new thing. So he was distracting himself while I was going through his clothes. I love doing the cleaning when he's napping, but of course, whenever I'm doing his room, I have to do it while he's awake. 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. Yeah, no, nothing's complicated. So this is Ethan's pants drawer now. It's so much better, it's not as cluttered. So I have all of his shorts over here. These are all of his jeans. Ethan, watch out baby. And then I have two rows of sweatpants, but they all fit nice and neat and now they are all two tees. It's the donation pile and Ethan is trying to dress himself <laughs> with his old clothes. Now we're heading into the kids upstairs bathroom like usual it's covered in toothpaste no surprise there but I really wanted to pull everything out of the bathtub and give it a good cleaning I haven't done like a good scrubbing in there in a couple weeks so we're gonna be tackling that and getting all of the toothpaste off of the countertops I was organizing my downstairs closet and found my scrubbing bubbles as well as my kaboom. So I was pretty excited to find that. So that's what I'm gonna be using to clean the bathroom today. I'm gonna be using the scrubbing bubbles. I love seeing like the foam whenever you're going to wipe something down. I don't know, it's satisfying to me. So I like that about scrubbing bubbles because you can see where you spray it on and it's just nice to see it. Let me know down in the comments if you feel the same way. I've recently been using my microfiber cloth to wipe down my mirrors. It does a great job mainly because I'm too lazy to walk downstairs and get paper towels, but it works great. So I need to start doing this because it's just less wasteful by using a microfiber cloth that you can just wash and reuse. So I really do need to get in the habit of just using that instead of paper towels. But now we're heading over to the toilet. Y'all already know I love putting my pine saw in the toilet and letting it soak in there. I also needed to wipe around the toilet. There was tons of dust and like there was gum over there and just I don't know what the kids do up here, but they make such a mess in here. So I had to wipe the floors around the toilet as well. Thank you. 
We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. My boys are the only ones that actually use like toys in the bathroom or in the bathtub. So I have like a little bucket that I keep under the sink. That way the girls can put them into the bucket and then, you know, put them under the sink when they take a bath, but they end up just throwing them on the floor typically. So I'm pretty excited. I ended up getting Ethan a little bath net for his toys for his birthday. So he's going to be getting that tomorrow. And I also got him a few other bath toys because he just loves playing in the bath. So I'm excited to give that to him. And I'm really excited to have that net because I am so tired of going into the bathroom and the floor is like so because the kids have like thrown the wet toys on the floor. Let me know if your kids do the same thing. Now we're heading into Aubrey's room. For the most part, she keeps her room pretty clean. Just her closet needs a refresh every once in a while. So we're gonna tidy up her bedroom and then I'm gonna fix her closet because it was full of stuff on the floor and I just needed to organize her clothes a little bit because if you guys saw my previous video, I did a huge closet declutter in my room and I had given her a bunch of clothes and so she, semi hung them up there was some you know just kind of sitting on the floor and stuff so I just needed to organize it but she was so excited about the clothes that I gave her it was like Christmas like she just lit up she was so excited so that made me really happy that she actually wanted to wear my clothes <laughs> you know so I was pretty happy and I was glad that you know they could get some use from her so that made me feel good Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so oh, you're looking so oh. I could not believe the amount of dust that was on top of her dresser, so. I got my little Swiffer out and dusted in here and I almost had a heart attack. So that little light right there that's sitting on the dresser, whenever I moved it, it in the creepiest voice said, uh, what was it? It was like battery low or my battery is low, plug me in, something like that. And I almost had a heart attack. Like it scared the daylights out of me. So. I just, um, I just turned it off because it was plugged into the wall. And so I was like, why is it saying that? It did it two times. Like the first time I touched it, it said that. And then after, you know, after I moved it and I started dusting, it did it again. So I was like, okay, I'm turning this off. <laughs> it creeped me out. I was like, what is going on? It's plugged into the wall. Like why would it say batteries low? So I don't know, but you should have seen my reaction. I was, I was scared. <laughs> I 
I saved the messiest room upstairs for last. That would be Adrienne's room. She is my messy child. It's so funny because she is the first person to like help me around the house, help me tidy up, but her room is always a mess. <laughs> it's really surprising, but she just had a bunch of clothes everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead, get all her dirty clothes. You'll see how much clothes I ended up collecting from upstairs. Like I had so much laundry to do, but she also asked me to wash her bedding because we had recently went to my Nana's house and she brought like her pillow with her and her little blankie that she sleeps with. And she's like, mom, it just doesn't smell the same. Will you wash my bedding? <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I went ahead and pulled off her sheets and stuff so I could wash them. But we're gonna get this room nice and cleaned. Her too, her closet was a mess. So we're gonna also organize her closet. And I rearranged her room just a little bit because the corner, which I'm still deciding what we're gonna do about, but if you guys are new here, I have all of her stuffed animals underneath a huge fuzzy rug. She wanted this rug in her room so bad, but it was just too big to lay on the floor. So I kind of turned it into like a bean bag cover. So we just throw it on top of all of her stuffed animals, but every time she opens her door, uh, to get into her closet. It's like hitting that so I went ahead and moved it over to the other corner in the room That way it would be easier for her to get in and out of her closet Kinda strange, I can take a beat. From my bed stuff is like no one else even really scratches the surface Cause nobody gets, nobody gets, nobody gets Looking for faith, looking for love in every direction. Looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. Let me escape from my hideaway. I give up all of my little addiction, but I'm still stuck with some tough decisions. Yeah. Now I'm up again. Her closet was so bad. She sometimes just like throws her clean clothes into her closet because she hates hanging up her clothes. Like she complains about it all the time because they fall off the hanger or she can't hang them up right. So majority of her clothes ends up on the floor in the closet. So I needed to hang up her clothes, figure out if there was any dirty clothes in there. She's also got this new like hanging like basket thing you'll see it in a minute we just bought that from the dollar store that way we could put some of her extra little like smaller stuffed animals or just you know whatever that's in her closet we could hang it up on there so i put some of the extra sheets that was in her closet into that little basket thing and then i went ahead and moved some of the blankets because the blankets keep falling off of the shelf she'll go in there and like you know take some blankets down but then others just come tumbling down so i needed to get some of them out of her closet this is everything dirty in her closet and just trash Stuck with some tough decisions, yeah. Now I'm up against the wall, and I'm looking for your attention. And I'm looking for your attention. Looking for your Can't no keep it low key. 
Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof I know your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed Her room looks so much better, but this is what the hallway is looking like now. I have all of the cups that need to go in the sink. That is my overflowing laundry. Like that just came out of all the rooms. Like that's so crazy. And then there's my pile of boxes and trash that need to go outside. So we're gonna bring all of this stuff downstairs. I'm gonna go ahead, get another load of laundry started, and like usual, I had clothes sitting in the dryer, so we're gonna go ahead, pull out those clothes, and start folding them before heading into my bedroom because my bedroom also needed some attention. But as you can see, I'm adding some vinegar into the laundry this time. I had some super wet, stinky towels, and I love adding just a little bit of vinegar into the wash whenever I have like really soiled, you know, clothes or anything that's really smelly. It really does help freshen them, get all of the stink out of there. So if you guys struggle with like that old moldy water smell in your towels or even in your clothes, try throwing a little bit of vinegar in the wash with them. If you have a front loader like mine, I just put mine into the, um, like the softener where you put your fabric softener. I just put mine in there. I don't put too, too much, but I fill it up about halfway and it really does uh, freshen up your clothes. So. And while I was folding today, I was watching some YouTube videos. I love watching YouTube. I don't get to watch it as frequently as I would like to, but whenever I get a chance, I love putting it on. So recently I've been putting it on while I fold laundry and it really does help the time go by so much faster. I try to hold it together, keep it together, not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together, been playing it down. Now we're heading into my room to not only pick up the clothes, but clean up my room. And yes, that black bag sitting over there in the corner is still the clothes that I need to take to the donation station. I haven't made it there yet, but it's still chilling over there. So are my husband's Pokemon. <laughs> It'll it'll be gone eventually, hopefully. <laughs> Let's hope. And I also have um, a a thin's birthday present sitting on my husband's dresser. I have all of his presents in that big blue bag. So that is what's in the bag. It's for Ethan's birthday. Monday came and swept away all the fun of yesterdays. But I'm going to hold it together. This ain't forever. Need a shot and then a bead. Somewhere to let up some steam.
Now we're heading into the living room. I did a home workout this day, so I still had all my workout equipment out here, so I needed to pick that up. I couldn't believe how much cleaning I had gotten done during Ethan's nap time. He took a super long nap this day, so he was just now waking up whenever I was finishing up the living room, which was perfect timing. I was just about to call it a day for recording, but I was really happy. I love those days where they take super long naps I am soaking them in because I know if he's anything like my other kids, typically, you know, they start fighting naps later. I'm hoping I still have a good year of napping, but we'll see. Every kid is so different. The last thing that I was going to be doing this day was switching over the clothes and getting Adrian's uh, blankets and sheets washed. That way she could have them by bedtime. So we're going to get those cleaned up and get them back on her bed before the end of the day. I'm about to tackle the stairs. I was so happy to have my cordless vacuum. It made vacuuming the stairs so much easier and I've been wanting to try it out literally on everything because I don't know, that's how it is. Anytime I get something new, I just want to try it on everything and my angle was so bad right here. I had to cut it short because I just did not get the, the good angle. So, <laughs> but we're gonna get the stairs all cleaned up and I wanted to show you guys how good this vacuum works. Make sure you enter into this giveaway. I am so excited about it. You have a double chance to win this vacuum, so definitely be sure to enter in. I'm getting tired. We could have breakfast, kind of your freckles, close to the west coast. How about that? Why don't we just get Place together, mornings in our own bed, so much better. 
as you can see, Yoda was also very intrigued by my new vacuum. He really loves it because not on this, when you have like the shorter handle, it doesn't have the LED lights, but when you have the big attachment, it has the LED lights on the front of it and he is obsessed with lights. Like that is his favorite thing. He loves to chase the vacuum because of the light and this one has the LED lights on the front of it. So it's just so funny. He is obsessed. I also recently bought him the like red laser pointer and that is how I distract him. Like he loves running and chasing after that light. He would do it for hours. Like I have to pick it up because he will wear himself out, but keep going. <laughs> it's so funny. you guys that's gonna do it for today's cleaning motivation be sure to head down to my description check out that link to Joshin, and don't forget to head on over to their instagram to get a double chance to win your own cordless vacuum by Joshin. i know you guys will love it but if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it really does support my channel and if you haven't yet i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my youtube family i do upload every single sunday and try to throw in bonus videos so be sure to have that notification bell on so you know when i am posting next but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i can't wait to see you in the next one